It was time to leave Dolomite for Okokuyu and little did we know that on our way there we would experience one of the most mind-blowing water hole experiences ever. First stop was Willy von Sris, which translates to elephants rest in English. It refers to the 523 elephants that were culled in the 80s and brought here to be slaughtered. To read more about the culling, check out Roxanne Reed's post about it. I will post the link in the description. We arrived at the water hole with the unpronounceable name. But oh my soul, what a sight was waiting for us. The amount and diversity of animals was just mind-blowing. Old Grumpy was still not over harassing all the other animals at the water hole. He had a seriously bad day.
So after spending about an hour in the heat of the day at this very action-filled waterhole, we just had to tear ourselves away from it because we still had quite some way to go, about 60 kilometers to Ukukuyu, and we really hope to see some more interesting sightings. Finding frequent enough rest stops or toilet breaks on the road was challenging, but at least the view was always good. At the rest stops, while stretching our legs, just love to hang out with these social bull weavers in their beautiful nests. These little birds have always fascinated me and they're just so entertaining. Not the cleanest of ablutions we've ever seen. Uh, yeah, Parksport needs to come and clean this up. Okay, so after three days at Dolomite, we've just done the trip of 170 70. kilometers to Ukukuyu. Just arrived here, stunning day. Um, looking forward to seeing much more animals. We had a good sighting at one of the waterfalls on our way here. Oh, as you've seen the video. Very nice. Um, Checking in now to Ukukuyu. Unfortunately, we're only going to be here for two days. Um, one day, two nights. Yeah, one day, two nights because it was just so full and it's a Namibian long weekend. So it's extra full here at the moment. As by usual tradition, we just had to send our grandkids, Peyton and Nathan, who lives in Mauritius, each an animal postcard whilst we were sitting on our veranda overlooking the beautiful Okukuyu waterhole. As you can see, we were very fortunate to get a chalet right next to the waterhole and I was very pleased to be in a room with air conditioning because it got quite hot whilst we were there. I spent some time sitting on the ground with the ground squirrels fondly remembering our last visit there with Louis and Valme.
for you. Awesome experience as always. Now we're leaving for Namatumi. Namatumi. Never been there, so we are looking forward to see what it looks like. After settling into our chalets, it was time to go for a game drive. And what the first game drive we had. Sitting literally about 200 meters from Namatoni camp um, at the Cheetah Kill. Quite a distance away, because it's quite a small cat. Um, must have happened about an hour ago. The cheetah is still looking around for other predators to maybe come and steal the prey, but um, you know, she or he is busy chowing away on it. Um, can't see it on this video, but I did get a shot or two on the camera. Probably in the video, you'll see a bit more of, of the cheetah. But yeah, our first cat for the trip, and hopefully not the last one.
the amount of wildlife diversity and especially the birds around Namatoni was just next level. It was time for some much needed domestic chores. So we're posting some postcards for the grandkids in Mauritius from Namatumi, Netosha and Namibia. Let's see if it arrives in Mauritius at all. There you go. Etosha has been absolutely wonderful. The weather was beautiful. It was absolutely pleasant weather. Every day was warm enough to enjoy, like felt like summer, but not really intolerable. And um, exciting was very nice. Namatomi was a pleasant surprise. We saw much diverse animals and birds here, which was different from the other parts of the park and we really enjoyed it. We were surprised on how much water was on the pan still. But yes, Namatomi, definitely sightings here was different but very, very exciting. Thanks. Yeah, um, what can one say? It also <coughs> just stays magical. Um, it's been our second time here. The last time was about eight years ago. Uh, it's still a magic place to come and visit if you're at all. If you've got the opportunity, do come. Um, everything is not perfect, um, and without trying to shoot down anything or anybody, uh, we do see a deterioration in the maintenance, especially at the campsites. Um, the picnic spots, because the distances are quite vast, the picnic spots with the toilets are quite important if you travel between different camps. And they, in one word, disgusting. Yes. Um, it's the only place you can actually get out of the car, stretch your legs a bit and, you know, go for, for a bathroom break. But the bathrooms uh, are shocking. It's, we, it's really bad. I mean, it hasn't been maintained for I don't know how long. Um, but except for that, um, you know, as, as I mentioned, uh, the maintenance uh, is lacking and it feels like it's slowly slipping away into a really bad state. Um, but we will definitely come back. I mean, it's not, we're not coming here for, for the campsites. 
campsites are just or accommodation, the, or yeah. the accommodation. The, those are just the overnight facilities where one sleeps. Um, and if we come back camping as we did in our first trip, um, I think it will be a good experience. That being said, all the staff, awesome, friendly. Very friendly, very awesome welcoming. Help, welcoming, helpful. Uh, we can't complain about one person in any of the three camps. Um, but for a wildlife experience, true to Africa, huge That's diversity, Etosha is just top of the list, um, at least in the top three in, in Southern Africa, yes. most definitely. The accommodation was very affordable because of COVID prices. <coughs> They've had reduced prices, so that was good. Um, the roads are, are fairly okay. Um, the main roads are better than some of the um, game loops, the viewing loops. Um, you can definitely see some water damage on some of the roads. Um, you can see they've had a very good rain season, but in general the Namibian roads are, are always a pleasure. And most of the main roads, gravel roads, were very, very acceptable. Yeah. Uh You'll obviously see in your videos, um, depending on where I insert this clip, um, you will see how magic the place is and yeah, we look forward to, to coming back again. Hopefully we can come back again and bring some friends and um, hopefully one day our Australian friends. But um, yeah, it was epic, it was the nicest place to to meet up with our kids and the only way we could see our kids at present time so it was a very nice place to meet up with them we really enjoyed the time spending with them and um, it was well worth the trip coming out this way to meet up and see them and enjoy nature and animals and photography with our kids ending this video with two awesome bird of prey interactions Thanks for watching our video. In our next video, we will visit Kruger. If you want to be notified when it drops, just click the subscribe button and you will receive a notification. It's going to be quite a nice one.